Welcome to my channel Fundamentals of Entity. This is my second video regarding eddy current entity. In the previous video, I have explained you how can we calibrate some crack signals. We can set reference that crack signals and how can we identify new crack signals with reference to when you take base or we can take the reference of the uh, base signals or we can take reference of the base signals and we can generate new signals. Now in this video, I will explain you how we can differentiate between different ma materials, how we can uh, differentiate between magnetic material and a non-magnetic material and how can we have a better phase separation when you try to, when we try to clearly identify to signal or to when we want to clearly differentiate the signal between a magnetic material and a non-magnetic material and how different materials having different conductivity shows their response with respect to eddy current. This is one of the most fundamental aspect of eddy current uh, testing is to, is to find out the conductivity of material and how the conductivity low key varies with respect to a with respect to our impedance plane. So let's start. So for today's experiment, I have taken um, different materials like this is just a steel elbow. This is fully magnetic. This is an SS bolt, stainless steel bolt. This is a brass fitting, brass material. These are some magnetic materials like some steel beads or general peels. And these are, these are the aluminum materials having surface notches. I am having some copper pipe also. This will, uh, they, they, they will be used to draw the conductivity curve. And I have also a general, uh, I have got a general door magnet just to check whether this material is magnetic or non-magnetic. So let us find it out. This is a uh, magnetic material. We will just check it. This is a clearly magnetic material. This is a SS bolt. This is non magnetic. Now these are some magnetic materials. This is brass. This is purely non magnetic. And obviously copper. Copper is also non magnetic. You can see. Copper is also non-magnetic. So let's keep away this magnet. Now we'll start play with different materials and we'll able to see how the different con different conductivity varies with respect to different materials. So let's start and we'll say draw we will draw a conductivity Loki. So once I connected a probe, this probe is uh, made of 200 kilohertz to 1 um, megahertz. You can see it. And uh, it has got uh, once again the auto detection mode. It will detect the probe. And we will press the continue button here. And straight away it will go to the impedance low key. Now, for the sake of uh, easy interpretations, I can place the middle point or the cursor current position. It is now being set as if you hit the display button, you can see the position is center. I can change, change the position of this center to some predefined positions like bottom right, bottom center, top center, top left. So different kind of customs and also a custom position is available and these are some predefined positions. I am setting it as my predefined position top left. Uh, okay, I will uh, try to now set this position not to the top left. Top left will be used to draw the conductivity curve. I will now put this center position, put this null point to the center position for better interpretation between a magnetic material and a non-magnetic material. So 
so I have set it once again to the center and I have pressed the null button now I am touching the probe sorry I am touching the probe with respect to a magnetic material you will see the, the curve is now going upward if I am touching the probe with respect to a magnetic material the curve is now going in upward direction you can clearly see it but the same thing now I will touch with respect to a non magnetic material like an aluminium this is aluminium now this magnetic material curves goes upward due to the higher inductance value generated by touching of probe on the magnetic material and the magnetic material self induced more magnetic induction value to the copper to the coil that's why this graph goes in upper directions now I am touching it in a non magnetic material like aluminium straight away it is going downward you can see it now I am touching it with respect to a brass you will see a different this is brass you can see it this is the curve of a brass this is brass curve and this is a copper I am touching it with respect to a copper pipe you will see a different kind of graph and this is copper once again I will draw it because I have touched a number of times in the materials and you are having a lot of graphs on the screen I will try to minimize this graph and show you a single single curve for your better interpretations for that I have to knowledge the button straightforward magnetic material non magnetic material aluminium non magnetic material brass non magnetic material a copper pipe you can see three different graphs they are appearing on the region this is magnetic a steel fitting steel elbow non magnetic aluminium non magnetic brass non magnetic copper since the frequency is set to almost 500 kilohertz so there is a little bit differentiate you can differentiate a little bit between two non magnetic two non magnetic material conductivity curve at higher frequencies now this is stainless steel bolt i am touching it once again and i am getting another curve here this is non magnetic so steel stainless steel aluminium brass and copper five different curve for five different materials now again i'm touching it with respect to a steel i will i will have a curve in the upward direction you see so once again i'm repeating it magnetic material steel upper direction non magnetic material aluminium stainless steel brass copper once again steel stainless steel aluminium brass copper this is how you are going to find out different material with respect to their magnetic properties and electrical conductive properties thank you subscribe my channel and stay tuned for the next videos of eddy current testing Thank you.